Hello and welcome to this week's preview show. Uh, different location, but the same two critters on the screen. So hopefully we can give you some insight into this weekend's runners. We'll start in the southernmost state for our runners, which is Caulfield being the Caulfield Cup day. Your first runner of the day, Kadinsky Abstract. Um, he's been a bit plain, Charlie. So stepping up to 1400 metres, blinkers off, I think will be a big help. He's just been struggling over those shorter distances. He's a very good horse. Um, we tried to get him to the Cornwall. That's a race I think he deserves to be in, but he's just not 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 sharp enough just yet. So put him out at 1400, try and get a little bit back and give him some confidence and look out when he gets to the autumn. Riff Rocket. Couldn't have been any more impressive last no, start. Couldn't have been. And um, he's trained on well since. The team at Rose Hill said that he'd gone to a new level before he went down. They were right. Um, let's see if he can go to the next level, which is, I guess, a Group 3, is it, or Group 2? Jeez. Take him out of his benchmark 73 Group 3 race. Oh, well. Um, winning that. Yeah, he went to Caulfield on Tuesday. Tuesday worked well. J Mac, good draw. Be hard to beat, obviously. Also, another last start winner for. Wapit Bloodstock, Connasana. Connasana, Philly version of Riff Rocket, um, heading on the Oaks Derby paths. She's on the Oaks path, obviously. Um, I think this Philly's ready to go to a new level. Um, when she gets out over a trip, look out. She's bred to uh, she's bred to win an Oaks. So, just needs to settle, hence a reason for the different bit going on her head. And Damien Lane retains the right. Lazaga. Jeez, it's just Team Whoppet down there, isn't it? Powerful bunch. Powerful crew. Yeah. Um, Lazaga was much better last start around the belly. And I think she likes left-handed. Um, she likes Kieran and Barrier Ball too. Much better barrier for <laughs> her. And I think 1,400 metres will be okay. Yeah. And then you've got a little bit of a gap to race seven into the Tristark Stakes. Madame Pomery. What do you do when there's a gap with the races normally? Normally, it depends what kind of day we're having. Good day. I'm either, either crying or I'm celebrating. Celebrating. Mm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, what do we got? Got to live the highs. Yeah, you do. Otherwise, you're always in the lows. <laughs> Madame Pomery. Pomery. Bounce back. Yeah. Awkward draw last yeah, start. Yeah, I'm pleased. Good draw this time. That much better draw this time. Loves mm -hmm. Caulfield. Won the won the thousand guineas there. Oh. Um, I think back to 1400 will suit better. Needs to lift. Mm -hmm. Into the big one. The Caulfield, Caulfield Cup. Cup. Montefilia. Last year we won it. Bit of drama there, wasn't it? Yeah. Durston needed to get a start. Needed a scratching to get into the race. Got one. Mickey D. Got up on the line, on the line. beat the Melbourne Cup winner, mm. gold trip. Mr. Gold trip. Durston, well. just for a little update, is um, chugging along nicely. He's actually in the stable at Macedon, at Macedon. Lodge. Mm. Yeah, Macedon. He will be back in the autumn. Watch out. He's, um, he's recovered to be from reckoned his, with. He will be. Mm. He's recovered from a tendon strain. And um, just timing-wise, he's not running in the spring, but he'll be ready to go in the autumn. Okay, more on Montefiore. Oh. Uh, she got some confidence last start, Charlie, with a good win too. So, Caulfield Cup, Montefilia. Caulfield Cup. Um, she got some confidence last start with a good win in the Hill Stakes, two million in the bag. Mm. Um, Nash, unfortunately, suspended for the weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, draw's okay. Just got to get a switch off, Parker and... Wait for H horses in the Caulfield Cup. Got a great record. Mm. And she's a class horse, similar to when... She's run fourth in it twice already. Has she? Yeah, both occasions she ran fourth. Yeah. Well, just Parker had put her to sleep and her class will see her in the finish. Francesca Gardi, drawn awkwardly, 15. Drawn awkward. Got to... Um, Good just jockey. James mm. McDonald. Mm. 54. Ooh. Very good. Here we grumpy. Why aren't you? Grumpy this morning. It's only Thursday. He'll be happy at about 
Five eighteen. No mind you. Yeah. On Saturday. Yeah. And he's kissing a cup. Yeah. Ah, so Francesco has come up well. He's been set for this race and the next, the Melbourne Cup. I think we've been a little bit behind with him. Uh, that soft run in the mile, I think, um, saw him underdone in the Turnbull, peaked on his run. He's come on well since. He's worked well at the Caulfield track Tuesday morning, and he's ready to go. So I'm not sure if he can win, but he'll be storming home, Charles. And then the hype horse, Sulcum. Oh, barrier five? Six. Six. Um, good barrier. Craig Williams knows him well. This horse loves Caulfield. Caulfield's a tricky track. There's so many bends, so many straights. Mm. Um, he's He loves it. He loves Caulfield. Um, he gets a nice run. Um, he's got all the right credentials to win a Caulfield Cup. It's a good field this year. I reckon it's, shut. it's probably the best field for a few years. Yeah, so do I. Um, obviously, very elegant awesome one race. three years ago. Uh, it was a pretty good field that year. But um, I reckon this year's as good as I've seen for a while. Mm. And um, Sulcum will be up to the task. Will be. There you go. Okay, nipping up to Royal Roundwick, where we have a good four track. And you're first. What's your best at Caulfield first? Then we might do Ramwick on the next one. Through Charlie's eyes at Caulfield. You can't do... No, because I wasn't there. It has to be through your eyes. You were at Caulfield okay. on Tuesday. What was the best galloper? The best galloper was was um, was Sulcum. There you go. Sulcum was the best galloper. And the second best galloper was... Um, oh, Riff. The Riff. The Riff. Yeah. Jeez, I mean, what, what, what price will he be on come Saturday? Come kick off time. I don't care. He'll be shorter than the Riff. Yeah. Righto. Hello and welcome to this week's preview show of Royal Randwick. Your first runner of the day is Gantarain. Oh. Um she just needs a bit of luck. She was out, she? Out, out in front or outside the leader last start, did it a bit tough. Love to just see her parked from slightly better barrier. Gate eight. Gate eight. Comes into seven already. Oh. And um Parker. Let her finish off. She's got the ability there. Uh, Kabosh, second up. Kabosh, better suited to this distance, 2,000 metres. Didn't think his run was terrible, first up. Mm. Um, be looking to run through the line, hopefully top five. Kazoo, resuming? Yeah. What do you make of her, Charlie? Just the way she races, she's so honest. You just worry about her first up being vulnerable late. Oh. What do you think? Oh, she's been in work a long time. Um, she has. She's probably, I don't know if she's sort of, she hasn't had a trial for a while, mm. but she's done plenty of work. Mm. Uh, look, she's a mature mare. She's got a good winning record. Three scratchings already helps. Smaller field. Yeah, good draw. Gate seven. Comes into five. Yeah, she'll run well. She's top three, top three. She'll win some black titles. Just got to conserve energy, hasn't she? Yeah. Then she'll kick. Yes. Damiana, third up for the campaign. Just needs a bit of give in the track. Tracks in Sydney have been like concrete. Mm -hmm. And the horses need to be um, considered because if they keep serving up firm tracks, they won't have any horses left at the end of the prep. So um, I hope the curators are listening because, yes, it's been very dry, but they shouldn't be running track records in the first race in a 2,600-metre St. Ledger. Not just Ramwick, Rose Hill was was has been very quick. Uh, Kensington tracks just like the Greyhound race, first one out, it's normally the first one home unless they you ride a horse out of their comfort zone and they capitulate. Yeah, races. Interestingly, just... I had a good chat to Michael Wood and they had they had four mil of rain prior to the Kensington meeting yesterday. It doesn't matter how much rain they're getting; it's how mm. well the tracks are draining. So well done, they're getting the tracks to drain. But they're too firm. Horses are gonna not gonna last. Horses come first, unfortunately. Fortunately. Fortunately. I prefer them to humans. Yeah. I think. Horses come before That's people. Arguments. Uh race six. Able Willie. Willie um won't be far away. He has drawn okay. He's it's a hard one to follow, but he'll be top six and he'll be hoping looking for a little gap that last 
100 meters. Okay, then into the Falante Stakes, new mandate, third up, barrier seven. Um, been a bit plain this prep, so hoping to see a bit of give in the track for him. Mm. I think he just needs a bit, bit, of, bit of cushion, and hopefully we can see him improve. Then Wicklow, drawn another sticky barrier, barrier 15, yeah. 54 kilos. Yeah, he'll be going back, and we'll be trying to find a bit of luck for him to win. Um, first up, I don't want to be sitting three wide, parks, no cover. I want to get a nice cosy run, build and be strong from the 400. And your third runner in the race, political debate, Ooh. ran in the Epsom last yeah. start. Um, he was unlucky in the Epsom. Terrible gait. He was, he was a very bad gait. Uh, he was better on that occasion with the blinkers on. Mm -hmm. I think he's looking for 2000 though, so the Rose Hill Cup is what we've got in mind. Hopefully he wins on a Saturday, but realistically I think he's looking for 2000. Into the Five Diamonds Prelude, Democracy Manifest, drawn another sticky barrier. Oh. Um, he's a good horse. I shouldn't say another, he was gifted a lovely barrier in the Epsom. Mm. Um, he will win one of these big ones, mm. and he's in the right race. Um, I think he's, we've worked out he likes to be ridden conservative, leave him alone the first half of the race, and hope they're, hope they're making up ground. He can't change their racing pattern, as I touched on before, because it just doesn't suit horses. we just got to hope that he can get on the back of the right horse and be storming home, and uh, some succulent Chinese later in the evening. Cool. My word. Hopefully it's not got gobbled up by Richard Callender and his crew in Waterford. Ah, uh, Waterford. He's, look, he... he um, nice barrier. Good barrier. He's had some terrible barriers. Um, good barrier, be able to settle back a bit closer. 1,500 will suit him much better. Mm -hmm. And um, both him and Democracy are heading towards the five diamonds, 1,800 metres, so I want to see them finishing off strong. Picking up some good prize money and then ready to peak in, I think, three weeks' time in the five diamonds. Two million. Okay, then into the Big Dance Wild Card race. Special sway, 52 kilos, barrier five. Just needs to settle. He's doing a few little things mm -hmm. wrong. I think coming back to the mile, um, he gets his chance. Good draw. Into the last, extremely lucky, barrier eight. Better barrier, barrier for him. Um, 1,200 metres will suit much better. 1,000 metres of Warwick Farm is too short. He'll go much better. A robusto, barrier 12. Likely to improve with the run. Um, did a good job last prep. The yeah, other had a good break. He's come back at four. Uh, I'm not sure if he can win Saturday, but he'll pick up a nice one through the through the spring. Okay, then a nipping up to Eagley Farm. Bonnie Azra. Uh, he's been a bit plain which is a shame because he deserves to win one. Hopefully he can pull his finger out Saturday. Ball finish. Um, yeah, big weight. Mm. CJ Graham. CJ Graham, 59 and a half. He just needs a nice soft run in behind them. Pounce late. Chance, good chance. Great house. Oh. Second up. First up, terrific. Extra 200 metres. There's speed on, he'll be... Knocking on the door. Shibley? <laughs> uh, Shibley. Um, he's, he's running out of his skin, and he'll be very hard to beat again. Quality time. He ran terrific first up. I reckon he can win. But Lofty, Lofty and the team have got um, that Shibley and the boys flying up there, so I think Lofty's in Shibley's court. I'm in quality times. Sh sh um, camp. Camp. Yeah, right. Okay. Mock Taffy, race seven. Very nice. Uh, probably a bit short, but he'll be, yeah, no, like first up, he'll be running well. Uh, race eight, Shower of Goma. Uh, three. Good draw. He hasn't had a good draw for a long time. Hopefully so his form is three, two, one. Yeah. He, um, he hasn't run for a few weeks, but. But um, soft draw, good jockey, be hard to beat. Okay. What do best you like? Luck. What do you? What's your best to ram with? Ah. Uh, Through Charlie's eyes. Mm, this is this is gonna hurt because I'm very friendly with the Alums, but 
Charlotte Jenner was pretty excited about Charlotte Wolf Jenner. Is that one of our leading track riders? Mm, rides Waterford. He's not the most straightforward. Oh, she's done a great job with him. And she's pretty bullish. Waterford. Mm. Mm, there you go. Followers. Yep, so he might yeah. win this one and then Democracy can win the big one. Oh. Yeah. Take. Sounds good to me. Look after all your connections. Righto. See you next week for the Cox Plate edition. Ooh, different location again.